What's up? So, I had to get here on the U to the tube and, and do this video because apparently I just had to see what all the hype was all about and what all of the VFers are going crazy over. So, I come across this article on Twitter and I'll link it in the description so everybody else can check it out, those that haven't seen. Let's, let's, let's translate it. It's from uh, Sega Official, Sega underscore official's Twitter. And with a little help from, from Google Translate, it says, the monumental tower of the case game is finally back in eSports. In quotes, Virtual Fighter X eSports project announced. Virtual Fighter, in quotes, which was born as the world's first 3D fighting game in 1993, will be restarted in Japan to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Sega's establishment. Stay tuned for future updates. And then they did a little teaser trailer where they showed near the end a Kirayuki, a silhouette of a Kirayuki is in front of a screen that I believe um, it was brought to my attention was showing a clip from Virtual Fighter 5R. I thought it was Final Showdown, but apparently it's, it's 5R is what I'm being told. Virtual Fighter Cross Esports. First of all, of course, happy anniversary. Happy 60th anniversary for Sega. Okay. I guess I just had to take the time to check this out and give my, give my two cents in on this. First, I will start off by clearing a couple of things. Um, I'm currently retired from any online VF play, period. Nowadays, I'm just playing Virtual Fighter 4 Evo. You know, I might get back into some 5 Vanilla, but just kind of doing my thing. Um, there currently is no VF Arena, indefinitely. I can't say that it's impossible that it will never come back, but... I have no reason to bring it back. So just wanted to clear that up in case anybody was wondering why they haven't been seeing VF Arena videos. Anyway, continuing on to the topic, the main topic. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is interesting. This is intriguing. But I would be lying if I told y'all that I was super excited. I, I just, I can't, I can't lie to myself and can't lie to y'all and say that I'm excited. Because, I mean, I've already heard over, you know, the past handful of years on how Sega has, you know, pretty much reacquired the IP for Virtual Fighter over and over, you know, kind of like re-signing, extending the contract, re-signing the Virtual Fighter IP, which is fine and all, but it only has accounted to minor things, very, very minor things, and not anything, you know, new Virtual Fighter related or any sort of enhancement, gameplay, anything related especially outside of Japan. Um, a lot of VFers and just a lot of people in the FGC in general want so badly 
of Virtua Fighter 6. They want it so badly. And I still, to this day, like I've been the whole entire time, and people know that I've been this way the whole entire time, that unless I see a legit trailer with Virtua Fighter 6 in it, literally, it might as well not be real. You know, that's not to discount what Sega posted, but the VF6 talk really isn't in my, isn't in my nature. It's, it's really not. I've fallen for it once. I'm not going to until there's something that's conclusive, legit evidence via a legit trailer with Virtua Fighter 6 in it. I don't want to just see some characters. I want to see those words in that trailer for me to deem it legit and something that I should get hyped about. But until then, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. I refuse to. Now, what do I think this means? Well, one, we have to keep in mind, this is, you know, right now for Japan only, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, that's how it was, you know, all along, especially before, you know, a lot of these versions of Virtual Fighter came to America. So it's completely understandable. And especially considering the U.S. never got Virtual Fighter 4 Final Tune, nor Virtual Fighter 5 R. Now, what I think would be pretty cool, being that this is also involving esports, Maybe, just maybe, this was one of my main thoughts, we'll see a revival of the Sega Cup. I think that would be neat. You know, Sega-sponsored, revamped Sega Cup. I think that would be cool. Because to me, that I, would, that I would be excited for. That would be exciting. Not saying that I would necessarily participate in it it depends only time will tell but i think it would be cool i've kind of always wanted to participate in a sega cup and i never got the chance to before when it was still a thing so if this is something they end up doing i think that's awesome i i will gladly support that i think that's cool um I know a lot of speculation, a lot of talks on maybe them kind of making multiple Virtua Fighter games kind of a thing as an esports title, which I think that would be pretty neat. I would totally be down for, for an esports Virtua Fighter 4 Evo. That's probably the main one I would cater to. Of course, you know. Five would be nice, and uh, FS would be nice as well, but 4 EVO would be my go-to, hands down, over everything else. But, I think that would be cool. Or, my personal desire, a VF collection. I, I would be cool with that more so over VF6. A VF collection so that I could be able to access games like Virtua Fighter 4 Final Tune and also Virtua Fighter 5 R, which I did get a chance to play both of these at no matter the cost. So that was really cool. But but yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. And like I said, it's too early. It's too early and not enough information to really know what this is going to end up being other than Virtua Fighter will be in excuse me Virtua Fighter will be involved some way somehow 
with esports. And that and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know, how big will it be? Only time will tell, but it's going to start off in Japan first. So, we'll have to see how that goes. I mean, Japan already has a pretty big showing with the the Beat Tribe Cup, which, you know, is always really cool to check out. See some of, a lot of the great Japanese players. So, I mean, this is neat. And I just hope that even if not now or, you know, not so much later, that it'll eventually make its way worldwide, whatever this esports project turns out to be. I think that would be cool, especially with the small VF community as it is compared to a lot of other fighting games. I think this would be good. But I will say I got to give Sega credit for really you know, through the Tokyo Game Show, which honestly, I don't know how the heck I miss that. I usually am pretty on top of things when it comes to Tokyo Game Show, but I didn't see anything on IGN. I didn't see anything on GameSpot. Like, it was just, I didn't even think it was going to happen due to the EXO crisis, but there you go. But it is good to see Sega acknowledge Virtua Fighter in some form or capacity but as I said before I can't really get so excited to the point where I think that it's going to be some sort of new game or new content only because I, I refuse to allow myself to get fooled again I refuse you know some of y'all may think I'm crazy some of y'all think I'm being a, a poor sport. Some of y'all think I may be being a, a sourpuss or a Debbie Downer. It is what it is, but I have to be honest. I have to be honest. Because we, we've all, all that have kept up have been played multiple times. Let's not kid ourselves. So, you know, I'll keep my eyes out for updates. But I'm not biting just yet. No, 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 no. I'm not biting. The idea of Virtua Fighter in esports is cool. That's neat. I can dig that. But anything else outside of that, any other thoughts outside of that, I'm not going to bite. Not going to bite. But anyway, that's my thoughts. You know, I'm probably going to be watching a lot of it, even if this does blow up and turns into something bigger along the way. I mean, only time will tell, but I'll most likely be watching from the sidelines and kind of doing my own thing. But you never know. I'll, 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 I'll leave with this. Uh... You know, Michael Jordan retired once, and he came back and won some more championships before calling it quits for good. I'm just saying. Nothing's impossible. Anybody can have a change of heart. Folks can say what they want. This one thing that I've done that I can say with confidence is that I did my part for a number of years. I did the best that I could do. And I believed I left a great impression upon others and was a blessing to many others. And if that time does ever come, folks won't see it coming.
I know I'm definitely never been the best player, never been close to being the best player. You know, after all, the competition and the fellowship was what matters to me the most. And, you know, I think I've done pretty well for myself, just overall, experience-wise, and just the impact that I've made on the VF community as a whole. And I've enjoyed my time. It's been fun. It's been quite an experience, especially getting a chance to put names to faces. It's been great. Uh, yeah. But one thing I will say is this. No matter how good I ever become, no matter how much of a scrub I ever was, as some people like to say, but one thing that I have never, ever been this whole entire time is a coward.